this session we will see the data type list in python as you know list is a compound data type that means it can contain a set of items or set of elements okay so we will see different features of list and what are the different methods that can be applied on this list to perform some operations so first one is our different features of this list it's a sequence of items or elements so usually we will represent this as a sequence and the items in this sequence can be homogeneous or heterogeneous data type that is the main speciality here that means the individual elements in a list can be either homogeneous that or of the same type or it can be heterogeneous that means one element can be of integer type the second one can be string type the third one can be a floating point like that all the items can be of different types that's a speciality and how to represent a list the individual items are separated with comma and the all set of items or sequence of items are enclosed in square brackets we can see some example first one we are using a variable l to represent a list empty square bracket indicates that it's a empty list and the second one we have a list with integers four different integers so it's a homogeneous type of list right and the third list it contains three elements first one is an integer second is a string and third is a floating point so, so l is assigned as an empty list here after that uh, we are finding the type of l then it is uh, represented as list so what are the different list properties first one lists are ordered second one it can be accessed by index and third one can contain any sort of objects and the fourth one the lists are changeable or mutable so lists are ordered means the items in this list are arranged in a particular order that means we can access individual elements of a list by specifying the position that is called actually index so this list individual elements can be accessed by indices and it can uh, contain any sort of objects heterogeneous data types are supported and the list are changeable or mutable that means uh, once we assign a value to a list we can modify it later individual items in an uh, list can be modified we will see an example for that also so coming to different operators or functions that can be applied to a list first one we can use integer or index to represent uh, individual items of a list so l then uh, that is the list name here then square, within square bracket we can put an expression it should be evaluated to an integer that represent the position of a particular element so this subscript can be used to access an element at the given index position then we can take a subpart of a list using slicing operator there also we are using the list name then square bracket within that where from where to start what is the starting index then a colon the ending index that much part we are extracting so this is slice for a sub list returns a new list that part will be returned then concatenation operation by using this plus simple list concatenation returns a new list containing the elements of the two operands so these two should be two different list then find then we can print the value of a list then you can find the length of a list that means the number of items in a list using len function returns the number of elements in the list then we can apply different operators all the comparison operators okay that also we can apply here uh, double equal not equal less than greater than etc so how it performs on a list so this compares the elements at the corresponding positions in the operand list okay individual elements corresponding elements will be compared so if two different lists are said to be equal if every element corresponding positions uh, each and every element is the same that will be returned true otherwise it will return false so the same principle applies to all the other operators and then we can iterate over different items in a list using this for loop at all for a variable name for iteration in this uh, list then we can put a statement so individual items of that list will be assigned to this variable each iteration and we can check for membership and all using in operator a particular item in l that means we are checking whether this item is present in list 
if it is present it will return true otherwise it will return false we'll see all those with examples then what are the different functions or methods uh, uh, that can be used with a list first one is append the format or syntax for using that function is the list name dot append then inside the bracket we can put element so the operation uh, done here is that element will be added at the end of the list like that we have another function extend so inside the bracket the argument should be another list and the items in that list will be appended to the end of this list adds element of l is to the end of l and insert is another operation we can insert a new element to the existing list by specifying the position and element like that we can uh, remove an element from a list l dot pop pop just removes and returns the element at the end of list the final element will be removed and that will be returned also we will see examples and we can specify the position instead of the last element if you specify the position or the index that particular position the element will be removed and returned now we will see examples for all those things how to use index in a list so index is actually used to access individual items in a list by specifying the position. Suppose this is a list with uh, five different items and we have to represent each item using index. L of 0 means the first item in the list that will be 34. And if we try to print the th L of 3, this is 0 index, 1 index, three, 2 index and this is the 3 index, right? Yeah, so L of 3 will be 24. Like that individual item can be represented using index and uh, negative indexing also can be used here that means l of minus 1 so indexing start from the last that is the uh, minus impulse so minus 1 is the last item in the list 56 will be returned minus 3 this is minus 1 this is minus 2 and this is minus 3 so this item will be returned l of minus 3 is 89 here now how to apply the slicing operator to get a sublist, a part of the list. Okay, the slicing operator. So this is our list with uh, this much items and we are using a slice operator starting index and ending index. So list name within square bracket starting index colon uh, ending index. So this part we are going to extract. So index 1 is 56. From that index 4 is again 56 right yeah this much items will be this list will be sub list will be returned okay next now inside yeah. this slicing operator we can uh, omit one or two operands of the slicing just for example here we omitted the starting index so l then square bracket colon 3 that means uh, from the beginning of that list to the index 3 so beginning from 34 to index 3 is 24 this much will be the sublist returned like that the ending index is uh, omitted here so l 2 colon the square bracket that, that means uh, from index 2 that is here from here to the last that that will be the sublist returned from 89 to 87 this will be the sublist return now lists are mutable what do you mean by mutability individual items or once we assign the list we can modify the value of that list just for example here we have a list 12 56 and 40 are the elements we are trying to modify the second element by assigning l of 1 is equal to 13 okay it works in list but it uh, it won't work in string right in that case it will create an error but here it works so after assigning a a new value to the second element if you try to print the value of l it will be now 12 13 14 the second element is replaced by a new value 13. now we can see different uh, operators that can be applied on a list first one is a repetition using star operator just for example l1 is uh, 12 34 45 and we are applying the this operator star operator l into 2 l star 2 means we are repeating l two times so a new list will be created you can see here the same element or same list is repeated twice so this is the new list like that a concatenation operation using a plus operator 
we can combine two different lists using plus l1 plus l2 l1 is this integer list l2 is this uh, string list right so after applying this concatenation operation this will be the new list then membership in a list that we can test whether a particular item is a member of a list using this in operator it returns true if uh, a particular item exists in a particular list otherwise it will return false so we can see here l1 is equal to 12 34 and 45 and checking whether 12 in l1 yeah it returns true 99 in l1 returns false now iterating over a list here we have a list and using for loop we are iterating over this list for i in l1 means each time one item from this list will be assigned to this variable i first time or the first iteration first item will be assigned that is 12 will be assigned then we are uh, just printing that value of i right yeah 12 will be printed and the second time I, this i will be assigned 34 and the third time i will be assigned 45 and this loop will be repeated as long as items are there in the list once all the items are served this loop will be exited so in this example this will be the output now list methods first we have seen what is append append inside the bracket we have to put the element to be appended so here we can see an example 12 34 45 is the current value of l1 and we are trying to append a new value list name dot append inside the bracket you have to put the value to be inserted so we are inserting 67 at the end of our list after that if you try to print this will be the value 12 34 45 and 67 also and uh, here also we are assigning a character a to the end of the list then you can see that new list contain that element also another function extend extend inside the bracket we have to put another list as the argument extending means taking the items in the new list and appending to the end of our list just for example l1 is equal to 1 2 3 4 l2 is equal to 5 6 7 l1 dot extend of l2 so l2 should be a list and the items in the list will be appended to the end of our list so l1 was 1 2 3 4 items in the uh, second list uh, 5 6 7 are appended to the end of this list this is the new list then insert if you want to insert an element to an existing list we can specify using the position and the element to be inserted function is inserts elements at the position index if index is less than the length of the list then only we can specify the position right otherwise if you try to insert an element to a position which is greater than the length of this uh, list in that case that element will be inserted at the end of the list without creating any error you can see an example here l1 is 1 2 3 4 and we are trying to insert another element t at position 2 position 2 index 2 means position 3 right yeah here we have to insert a t so after that if we try to print yeah that is the case here 1 2 t then 3 4 okay now <coughs> now see this example we are trying to insert at index 6 do you have an index 6 here no the length of this list is just 5 right so indices are from 0 to 4 only but we are uh, trying to insert at index 6 so in that case the element will be inserted at the end of the list just like append function you can see here that is inserted at the final position the last position that is insert operation another one is pop pop is actually removing an element from the list at the same time that will be returned okay so you can see here l1 this values are the l1 dot pop means the last item will be removed at the same time it will will be returned so when we try to execute this statement 4 will be returned and if we try to print the current value of l1 yeah we get got a new list by removing the file light this is pop method so by default this pop will remove the last item but if we want to remove some other item in the list we can use an index also pop inside the bracket you can put the index remove and returns the element at the 
position given by the index of the list so here also we are saying that taking the same example 1 2 3 4 l1 dot pop 2 remove and return the element at index 2 index 0 index 1 index 2 this element we are to remove and return so when we execute this pop operation the value return will be 3 because at index 2 we have a value 3 right and that will be removed also if you try to print it the new list will be 1 2 4 another one is remove element instead of pop we can use the remove also remove element by simply giving the element without specifying the position we can remove an element removes the element at the first occurrence of uh, the element in the list okay so the same element may be uh, occurred many times in a list right in that case if you try to remove that element the first occurrence will be removed just for example here we have a list with 1 2 3 4 5 2 4 and we are trying to remove the element 2 okay so this is the actual value to be removed not the index so what happens here actually 2 occurs 2 times right at the index uh, 1 and index uh, 2 3 4 5 right at the 5 also it occurs so first occurrence will be removed so if you try to print it 1 the second element is removed actually 3 4 5 2 4 okay so in this case uh, the remove operation won't return we simply remove the element okay and uh, another function is count we can count the number of uh, particular element occurrence of a particular element just for example if you want to count the number of occurrence of 2 in this list we can use this l1 dot count of 2 how many times 2 occurs in this list so it will return 3 now we can sort the elements of a list using sort operation so by default the sort operation will sort the elements in ascending order you can see here this is the list after applying the sort this is a uh, syntax for applying the sort list name dot sort it will automatically sort the items in ascending order then we if you want to print it this will be the result two two three four etc and if you want to sort in descending order we have to put an argument there's an attribute for this uh, sort operation that is reverse if we put reverse equal to true it will sort in descending order okay in that case if we uh, sort it the elements will be in the descending order you can see here we are calling the sort function by putting the reverse equal to true and when we print it this is the order and if we try to apply the sort into a list in which some items are of a string type and some are of a number numerical type in that case this sort operation won't work it will not be supported so if we try to sort these list with uh, completely heterogeneous elements in that case we will get an error this comparison operator is not supported between instance of integer and string such a message will be displayed whereas we can uh, sort a list in which some of the items are uh, individual uh, sorry integers and uh, some others are floating point no problem it will be sorted like that we are completely string all the elements are of string type also we can sort okay in the, <clears throat> in the next session we will see the nested list list within list